Okie dokie, here's my nutshell review of Before I Go by Brian Charles. Liar, liar, pants on fire. All right, so here's my longer review. <laughs> all right, first of all, also I just should introduce myself. My name is Tammy, welcome to my bookshelf. Um, I'm here to talk about books I'm reading, books I want to read, uh, the literary world in general. I am a writer and a reader, welcome to my channel. All righty, so yeah. So let me just say, I got this book as part of the book drop uh, book club that I was a member of. I have uh, stopped my membership for a little while while I catch up on some reading. I, I don't like getting books in constantly and not, you know, they start piling up after a while. And I'm also kind of sort of doing the read what you own uh, challenge, which a lot of booktubers are doing. So that said, this is one reason uh, I just wanted to put that out there because I did not pick this book personally for me to read. However, after reading the back cover and also reading the little postcard blurb that came with it, I, I had to say I was intrigued. I did, a, in fact, I did a box opening or a mail opening or whatever when this came, and I was like, oh, this sounds kind of interesting. Um, it's, it compares it to the notebook, okay, so that suggests romance to me. So there's three paragraphs in the back of this book and um, the, the back cover that describe what's happening here. The first paragraph basically says Abby Gamble um, is a widow. And so she's trying to learn, you know, get her life back after a year um, after her husband has passed away. Um, he was in a plane crash. And then the second paragraph talks about Joel, which is her, her love interest. So she's kind of like, you know, she's starting to um, find her way back to the world and love and that kind of thing. And the, but then the third paragraph says, um, yet Ben isn't gone. Ben is her husband who supposedly dies in a plane crash. But it says, yet... Ben isn't gone. Ever since his plane went down, he's been trying to make his way back to Abby. So with, I'm not going to give you any specific spoilers, but let me just say that doesn't happen exactly like you expect it to. And while I'm all for an unexpected ending, um, I felt like this just did not work. <laughs> okay. And I felt, uh, I felt like the, this description was misleading. And I don't know about you, in fact, let me know in the comments below, um, do you go by the back cover description or, or if it's a hard copy, you know, the inside cover description? I mean, how much, how much do you put towards that when you're picking out a book? How do you, is that something you really consider? I do. And so I was really, when I got to the end of this and things didn't turn out like I kind of expected them to, um, that really threw me off. In fact, I even had to go back and reread, um, the last, you know, like the last couple chapters. Cause I was like, what happened? <laughs> no, that it, really, <laughs> did that really happen? <laughs> okay. So that's kind of my main reason why I gave this two stars on Goodreads. Um, so what I know of Brian Charles is very little. Um, I did see that on Goodreads. Somebody said that he actually has a pseudonym. He's also known as Charlie Donnelly, and he is a, uh, typically writes thriller uh, novels, thriller genre. And so this is his supposed first venture into what's considered literature, I guess. Um, but yeah, no. All right, so... Another thing I, I personally had issues with is that all of the characters in here um, seem to have lots of problems, I mean a lot of problems, you know, there's, and, and for me when I was reading this as it happened, some stuff was happening in my personal life that was, um, made it really difficult for me to read about all these other problems of these characters, so I actually had to set this book down for a little while, but if it hadn't been for that, I will say, um, it is a very quick read. It's, it is a book that I feel like the average uh, serious reader could knock out in, you know, in a couple of days if you just wanted to sit down and get through a book and it wasn't super, you know, um, it didn't require a lot of brain matter on your part and you wanted just an escapist type of thing. Uh, this suits the bill just definitely for that. So yeah, I don't like to give spoilers, so I'm not going to say exactly what happens at the end. Um, but I felt like it was, uh, I was disappointed and I just didn't feel like things tied together to make it, um, believable, I guess. So, and like I said, I felt kind of ripped off that this, this led me to believe 
that there was going to be maybe a love triangle that um, you know she Amy Gamble um, was going to fall in love with Joel but then her husband was going to pop up and then she had to make the decision between the two guys and everything um, so you know maybe that's a little trite and expected and maybe that's why um, the author decided to not go in that direction but then I felt like whoever wrote this <laughs> did not do justice to this book so so anywho that's sort of my rambling review let me know in the comments below like I said what you think about um, book jackets and that kind of thing thanks for stopping by to see what's on my bookshelf bye bye